I'm standing here at Le Web with another French entrepreneur and that's Raphael Labbe and he founded a business or a startup which is called You Like and what is You Like about it? You Like is about getting recommendation and sharing what you truly enjoy or hate mm -hmm. work for both okay. so you come to the website you just say whatever you're interested in from books movies people uh, characters cities countries artwork like we've got 15 different categories and based on that will we make you recommendation for new stuff and people that also share the kind of small interest that you can have for a specific topic like uh, russian architecture okay so if I am a big fan of architecture, I put in all the architecture styles I like, or the buildings I like, and then you recommend me which kind of buildings or cities would be interesting for me to visit? Exactly. You, will say, you can say what kind of architect do you like, what kind of, of main buildings, uh, what kind of cities, for example, I don't know, you like the Berlin style, uh, which is a very specific. Um, and based on this information, we'll try to uh, push you some new places to go. Uh, that could match uh, your interests. So for what kind of categories do you offer it right now? Do I? For what kind of categories? Uh, which categories do you offer it till now? Uh, you want the full list of the 15? Oh, okay. 50, 50, yeah? <laughs> yeah, 50. Ooh, okay, that's a lot. Yeah. Okay, no, I don't No, I, I would say 15 main categories and then you've got like subgroups that you can filter. I mean, it's, it's mainly a huge da entertainment database built, built by the users. And so it's growing based on our users' taste. So sometimes we just like have a really good day in Magician because one people will put like 10 new magicians or 100 new series. It really depends. So it's just growing. It's, uh, we have around 300,000 items now. Um, so yeah, it's kind of enough to actually uh, get some interesting discoveries. So, but uh, what's your focus or where do you want to go with that kind of service? The idea is that the one thing is making discovery, uh, which is okay now on the web, on the music part, it, it, because it was started a lot earlier. It can be okay on books, some, some website in the US, like Library Thing or Shelfery, are trying to do this. But there is a really, really interesting approach, which is like to be broad, because you can make bridges from one type of content to another, which is based on your movies and music taste, we can be able to recommend a new book, which can be really interested in meeting new uh, fans of what you like. Um, so what we try to do, the really idea is having like something that you can have on your back, which is a virtual library, like the real one that you have at home, but something that you will be able to share on the internet and also bring to create new usage. We've just launched like a uh, last week, uh, TV guide based on your taste. So the idea is now in France, we, they open like a, a, a brand new series of channel. So it's getting like in the US, you've got many, many channels, difficult to choose. And having you like that select like five to 10 movies or series that will happen tonight without, to have, without me to have to scroll the, the, the full list to actually choose some interesting stuff. So idea, the idea is trying to be able in the future to use this library for any kind of um, filter uh, for entertainment, for example, I enter a uh, uh, people website, just like give me some fresh news on the artist or the singer I'm interested in. Because okay. that's the main thing I want to know about. It's yeah. maybe like, a, I don't know, a, a news about Madonna yeah. or... Uh -huh. I understand that one, but at the end, how do you want to make money with that? Um, First of all, we're a content, content website, so people who come in are interested in some specific content which make it easy to actually monetize the pages because it's ad, uh, affiliation with Amazon, uh, big, big sellers, e-commerce sellers for books, movies. So this is like a really easy uh, stream of revenues. And uh, what could be interesting in the future is actually the use of this uh, library. For example, if you light up your TV, we're actually working on that based on that. Uh, well, time, yeah, uh, I was just saying that, um, for example, if you open like your VOD system on your TV, uh, being if you buy a movie based on our recommendation, we'll have a share of re revenue. So the idea is like your library is a part of who you are. It makes the it makes your discovery and and choosing easier. So 
we're selling at the end some product. Okay. So give me some numbers. Uh, how many users do you have to now? And uh, yeah, what okay. are your plans? We spent one year on the algorithm three years ago. So it's been running for two years now. Uh -huh. uh, the, the website we've got 70, uh, 000, uh, 70 yeah, 70,000 users. Um, but mainly we've got our uh, main core contributors who created the 300,000 items in the database. Um, we're doing, I don't know, uh, I think it's around 2,000 new items a day adi being added in the database and we've reached, uh, I think it was like a few weeks ago, 6 million ratings on the website, so 6 million I like or I don't like for content. So it starts, the algorithm starts to work for classical music, architecture, uh, very different stuff that are not uh, where uh, this personalized and collaborative filtering algorithm have, have not been deployed yet. And uh, your biggest markets is uh, obviously maybe France till now or are uh, you also already internationalized? I think we're we mainly European. Uh, we have a... Um, Hopefully one day we'll have a, a user base as big as Last.fm, but we have a, a, as European base of users that are Last.fm, so we've got a lot of Swedish, Polish, uh, f obviously French because we're best here, it's, it's uh, nearly 45% of our users who are French, but we still have a main majority who is out of France, uh, and especially in Europe. Okay, and uh, yeah, what do you need to become even more successful? Like always, more uh, good users that actually help us to bring new ideas and bring new content to the website. Uh, I think we started this company two years ago and we're still early in the process of having this personalized collaborative filtering algorithm deployed on around content. Uh, it can be around TV content or it can be around press content. Uh, so I think the more uh, the main companies, the more we evangelize the possibilities of this recommendation, the better it will be for us. Like we're actually working with TV producers who want to make like a personalized channel uh, based on your taste. I mean, and that's the kind of opportunity to actually reach a broad market, a main market through TV or press. And I think that's maybe the next step for us is actually to uh, make this kind of deal so we actually have like a really simple and and one functionality product that can be uh, spread around okay. and also from a financing side it's all fine for you there are also no wishes left you are completely financed for example uh, we've raised some money at the beginning of the year with a venture capital in france called axa which is a large insurer and we have some uh, very really good uh, angels uh, thanks guys <laughs> Uh, no, yeah, so yeah, we're kind of okay. Um, I think, yeah, we're lucky enough to have raised money before what happened, the meltdown that happened recently. So it makes us, uh, we didn't raise like a really huge amount of money, but we know that this kind of project is a kind of a long road. Wikipedia takes time, last FM took time. So we're kind of not in a hurry, knowing that at one point the, the product will be uh, good enough and, and uh, easy enough to use, so it actually uh, becomes uh, part of your already consuming entertainment life. Okay. And yeah, last but not least, what are your personal favorites? What is well, your well, personal hit Okay. You can check, it's easy, you like dot net slash leafar, L-E-A-F-A-R, which is Raphael written on the other side. Um, and uh, I don't know, in, in photography it can be Kertetz, uh, in music it's probably Bach and Steve Reich, uh, in uh, painting, I don't know, Rosenquist uh, or Beuys in uh, sculpture. I see, I see. The list is long, the list is yeah, long. So that, check I mean, it out and yeah. uh, visit the site youlike.net. Youlike.net. Thanks a lot. Okay, thanks.